Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to fillet weld some stainless steel that's 18 gauge and we're going to add rod. We're going to use a 308L stainless steel rod, but then we're also going to fuse it. So I'm going to do half of the rod and the other half of the fusing. And you can see what the difference will be like. And 18 gauge is very thin, so you have to watch your heat because it'll twist and turn on you. And let me get my hood and get set up and we'll go for it. Okay, here I go. Now I'm using the 16th rod, which is a little big for what I'm, I'm welding the material th uh, thickness. So I just don't dip it as much because it takes a little longer for it to melt in and, and fuse with the metal. And then you can get warpage and you make it hotter. But it'll work for now for, for showing you the principle of it. You know, watch out for the little arc flash if your material moves. We'll add the rod. It's getting a little hot. And finish it off. Then I'll just come and fuse it. I won't add any rod. Okay, now this is when I've been adding rod. And you can see you're getting a nice color here. Now what I'm going to do over here next is just fuse it. I'm not going to use any rod. So I'll put my lens back on the camera and we'll start for that. And now I'm just going to fuse it. Not adding any rod. Able to control my heat a little better. It depends on your, your style of welding if you like the foot pedal or the thumb button. Myself, I prefer the foot pedal. I feel like I have more control. You come to the end. There we go. And there you go. That's without the rod. That's just fused. Nice and small. You don't have any warpage on the material here. Nice coloration. No burn through. And that's your rod and that's your fusion. And that's 18 gauge stainless steel with a 308L stainless steel rod. Well, there you go. There's your fillet weld. You got your fusion and you got your rod. And uh, pretty straightforward. And it didn't twist on me. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab.